Cloud9 have got this big clashing team fight lineup that I expect G to kind of have on his fancy feet here. As he continues to move in and out. Doesn't want to allow it to be an easy target whatsoever. And he gets caught with an arrow mid lane. Sure enough, just as I jinx it there, Fata looking away behind will eventually skewer him to the other side. LSA does connect. He tries to head up to the north and to help, but can't get there. First blood. Gonna go to bone seven. And he Dyer's certainly needed it. Oh, good call. I did not catch that one. So thanks for the bailout, buddy. I appreciate nope. it. Where guys you know, but in any case, well, top lane, bone seven tries to hold the tier one. Hello, I'm getting punished. It's a tier one for tier one trade. The mid tower, a bit of a win here for Cloud9, but having to give up that kill, not ideal. Now the RP is ready. Blink, Skewer pulling in G. He can get the stun off here, lands it, but instantly brought down by an Omni Slash from the Eternal Envy Juggernaut. And now, with the level two healing, where the Eidolons and the mech already. Oh. The early laning phase, now he has this recovery path to go on. And Egg is available here, but look who's creeping in from behind. Misery is charged century, up. But Hero, he leaves a second too late, Misery. Quickly dealt with, now your Wiz coming in. They could lose more, no black hole, no easy way out. They do have the Supernova, they're gonna drop it now, but that egg will get focused. It costs big, one is life. It might cost Big Daddy his as well. No Omni Slash for nine. Charge coming in hot, Malefice was on cooldown. No follow up though, they'll settle for the two kills. And now just gonna walk it off. Radiant's big return fight, so you're not expecting that. Right now, that is so good for them. Any chance Mid -lane. they have. Blink, RP, they got Sador. All right, they got the Midnight Pulse, and that easily withers them down, and it makes for an easy finish right there. Just a one-man grab at all the meanwhile, they get a big return kill, taking down Envy in the bottom lane. He got worked, and all of a sudden, Illidan, 8.3k net worth. Four, oh, seems they will four TPs to mid lane for Cloud9 now, just to really retreat. My chat always used no dire vision of this. The Sentry Ward gets planted, though. They're going to see this movement in. Illidan, that's the Dark Pact off the RP. He leaps to the north. He's going to dodge his way out of here. Black Hole is available. Mystic Flare dropping Fauna low. No kills just yet. Sedoi, though, in danger. The egg will bring him down as your Wisp he located somebody back. Well, just herself itself, it looks like now Illidan. Rushing in again, he's diving the tower against the black hole, and FNG is oh. gonna get pile drived in. They got two. Illidan survives through this though. Fada being low as the chase comes out, and now Eternal Envy his turn to run. He's deployed the Omni Slash to little avail as a final Lil appears and is quickly brought down. That was a very awkward engagement for very Asus awkward. Polar. They used the used the relocate Fire's early, then Illidan come. I mean, while the cooldowns are out. This is their best chance. Cloud9 really showing themselves here in the mid lane. And Charging Eternal Envy. RP is waiting on the back lines though. Fada could set up a big one. There's your RP. Catches out two. Pile drives them on back. They are tanky defensive relocate. Bring Nillin in back, but he wants to go in. He's going to chase on forward. He's fighting into the egg. He needs to leap out and will end up falling in the end of that Phoenix. They get a three hero stun out from Alina. Not good enough though. FNG will fall as well. And Cloud9 march onwards. Arrow. I have a little fish here. Will able to summer soul his way back towards the well, but damage happened. They got a tower, so shot the graph up quite a bit. Top lane. Still, they saw the beam. <laughs> I think. Polar. This time they know. It seems like they may suspect the Roshan. They're in the neighborhood. They're going to scout it out with the Dragon Slave, but already the big boy's dead. Now they're going to slay clone off your Spear Breaker into the air. And now the Black Hole pulls into the LRP and another oh two. My. Sucking them into the Black Hole into certain doom. Three heroes brought down. They can't even get their Slark out, and the Wisp will be coming back, I believe, when this relocate ends. But they're going to ignore the Wisp and just hunt G down. Double damage. Eternal Envy on the chase. G frantically trying to scramble a TP out, but he won't make it. Ee Sama slaps him down. Man, that was just a thing of beauty. Black Hole on two. RP bringing one more hero into it. Then they skewer them around. and Just an ugly, ugly Roche fight for Asus Polar. It was like... Unfortunate timing for Polar and perfect time for Cloud9. Just close to the now and Eternal Envy in the front line. Well, they've not chosen to max that ward yet, by the way. Leaves it at level two. They will sweep around from the rear. Illidan gets Yules immediately. Arrow setting up. He did not get off a dark pack. Now pulled back in. Brought down. Easy kills. No RP necessary either. So they still get to hold that. Oh man. So. Polar in a situation here where they can't really defend as well as they'd like. It's just this Wisp and Skyrath who are not the best at anti-push. G's going to try his best, unleashing any skill he can to slow them down. And Cloud9, even without Black Hole, just as confident to stay planted here and push while That's they can. That's a good point. They don't have Black Hole and they're still going in. Yeah, that just shows that they are very comfortable at this point in the game. 
It's just the way the lanes are right now as well, where Asus Paul are still yet to take that tier one mid. I think the creeps may have gotten the tower bottom, but well, either way, here comes round two of the push. Glyph forced out. Slark up in 16. Sure, thought I want to stick around for an actual. Oh, here we go. Omni slash FNG. See you later. Hunting for a bit more. Will Manta right out of that silence? That, Dakota, this may be your first lane of rats. Charge there, but immediate self fuel. They still have RP and egg, so the team fight is still there even without the black hole. But by this point, black hole's up and ready to go. Ilden moves forward, gotta be careful, tries to go right for the egg, but they're gonna bait it out. They jump in RP and black hole on top of it. They're gonna just wipe the floor with Asus Polar, and it's an immediate game one. It only takes 25 minutes for Cloud9 to, to get the job done. Brutal. That was just a very one sided beatdown. I, I'm impressed. Cloud9 looks solid. They they did well in the laning stage. Asus Polar did not contest the Enigma jungle. They did not find any early kills with the Spirit Breaker offlane. Cloud9 had a good ward bottom to scout early charges. They weren't able to snowball the Slark despite a really early start. The Illidan went, I think it was four. He actually was doing pretty well. Four, zero, and three he was close to snowballing. Then they lost the fight mid. And yeah. from there, it just felt like it was comfortably all Cloud9 all the way.